The new Samsung Galaxy S7 was released yesterday and this was delivered to my doorstep this morning. Um, it's a 32 gigabyte Black Onyx Samsung Galaxy S7. It's not the Edge that a lot of people have. Uh, it's just a regular S7. So I'm just gonna open it up and see what it looks like. That opened up. So this is the phone. It has a nice cool feel to it. It's shiny, as you can see it's new. Uh, feels pretty nice. Uh, compared to the S4, uh, this is the S4 that I have. I've had this for almost three years. Um, if you look at, take a look at the size comparison, the S7 is not as big. Uh, it's not too big, uh, just a little bit longer. Uh, in terms of width, it seems to be the, uh, the same. Uh, although the S7 is a little bit thinner than the S4 and it actually feels a little heavier than the S4. Most likely because of the battery. Um, one thing I like the difference is that the S7 has a speaker at the bottom, whereas the S4 had it at the back. And this is the back. Uh, if the S7 uh, works as well as my S4 did, um, I won't have to upgrade my phone again until the S10 comes out. Uh, maybe they'll call it the SX. Who knows? Right. Let's take a look at what else is inside the packaging. This here. Uh, this was by T-Mobile, so they sent me a SIM card as well. It's the IMIE numbers. Um, and here we seem to have a booklet, as well as, I guess this is the SIM card lock. Uh, this is where, this is the tool you use to open the little tray that comes out at the top right here. Uh, where if you want to install the, the SIM card or the memory card. Let's see, quickly just push it inside. Ah, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's a uh, rubbery plastic. Just hope I don't break it. Uh, the reason I went with the S7, I waited for the S7 rather than getting the S6 is because of the SIM card. Because of the memory card, excuse me. I'll put that in there in a little bit and give it a go. Pop it back in there. Oh, I guess I turned it on. Let's see it turned on. Keep this here. Gotta try not to lose this one. We have the charger is the adaptive fast charging. I guess it delivers. Um, let's see, about two amps of two amp. So I have a couple of USB um, extensions. This is nice. This looks nice. And finally, the what looks like headphones. They're stuck in there, I guess. Nice packaging. Yep, look nice. Maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't. Who knows? So I have the phone turned on. It says welcome. All right, let's go through some of the setup. Insert SIM card, blah, blah, blah. Let's, see, let's connect to Wi Fi. Meow. That's mine. And I'm going to type in, I'm not a cat. Not a cat, right? Let's see. Connected, yay. Do any of you ever read the terms and agreements? Well, there you have it, the new Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, I used the Smart Switch application to move over everything from my old S4. As you can see, the background in the swipe screen is, in the lock screen, is the same in both. Uh, it's the picture of the moon I, I took uh, a few years ago. Uh, it feels sleek, it feels nice, works well. All my apps have moved over, which is really nice. Uh, well, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions uh, about the phone, so something you want to know before you purchase the phone, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have the S7 and you're doing something with it that I don't know about, feel free to share. Thanks for watching.